If you were to trace this code either mentally or on Python Tutor, you would find that on this line, the code will fail. Why? Because if the input is like this, the day field is at index 0 and index 1, that gets extracted perfectly fine and gets converted into an integer. Right? So this portion works fine. So this is index 0, index 1, index 2 is the forward slash. Now we try to access everything from index 3 up to but not including index 5. So that is the index 3 is the letter 2, index 4 is the letter slash and we pull out 2 slash and we try to convert that into an int and that results in an error. So we get this value error. It's saying I'm trying to convert this 2 slash into an int with base 10. It turns out you can convert strings into integers with different bases, but for now we are converting in base 10 and it's saying I can't convert this. It says it's an invalid literal to slash. So we see the problem. Our code is using fixed regions where it's expecting the day, the month and the year. And sometimes that's correct, but sometimes that's wrong. And our client wants this code to be robust. It should be able to handle all the types of inputs that her users are going to type into this code. So we need to make that change. So that is step one. Let's continue reading the rest of the code. Step two says calculate the number of days in month. Well, we have a helper function for doing that. So presumably this uses that helper function. And indeed, when we zoom in, we see that first it calculates whether the given year is a leap year or not. We saw this logic earlier. And then it calls the helper function with the given month and whether or not this is a leap year according to this calculation and then it calculates the maximum number of days in that particular month. And our client is fine with this code. She has no problems here. Let's move on to step three. Here we actually have to calculate the next date. So we have all our date fields hopefully as um, integers and we know what the maximum number of days is for this particular month using the helper function. And now let's zoom in on this code. This is what this code looks like. And our client is not happy with this code. Our client wants us to improve the readability of this code. Readability is extremely important in any real world software. Why? The person who wrote this code may understand what it's doing. Perhaps even months afterwards, they could explain why they have written the code this way. Their explanation might go something like this. Well, I have to calculate the next day and I can do that very easily by increasing the day by one, but I can't do that if I'm at the max day. So firstly, I check if the day is less than the max day. If it is good, I can increase the day by one. Otherwise, I'm at the end of the month. So now I, I'm at the end of the month, I'm equal to the max day. Now I have to increase the month. And I can do that very easily as long as the month is less than 12. I can increase the month if it's not December. So if it's not December, increase the month by one and set the day to the first of the next month. But otherwise it must be December and for December I have to increase the year and I need to reset of course to 1st of January. So this code might be easy for that person, that original author to explain, but somebody else might find this code very complex. And suppose the original author left the company who is going to maintain this code? Suppose later on some requirement changed and this code needed to be modified. Someone would have to understand this code. Now admittedly, this particular piece of code is not super hard to read. But our client is not happy. She wants this code written in a more simple way. Let's move on to step four. Step four 
return the answer as a string. Remember, this function has to return a string. And so this piece of code, which again our client is very happy with, just takes the day, the month and the year and puts it in the right format using an F string.